everybody. This is Edwin Abel coming to you with Day in the Flow morning videos. Uh, coming to you again from Lapu Lapu City, Cebu Province in the Philippines. Whew. Wow. Um, it's a beautiful morning still, probably not quite as sunny. We got a little rain yesterday, but it's a little overcast this morning, but it feels great. You know, it's been pretty hot the last couple of days. You know, th th this morning, I just wanted to talk to you very briefly, and I like keeping these short, and I'm sure you do too. But I just wanted to talk to everybody about one of the key things I, I mentioned previously about this pandemic and, and this lockdown this stay at home shelter in place so many of these uh terms we use now is that you have to stay connected i find that one of the most integral and one of the most imperative things about my mental health in this entire thing is staying connected you know social media is, is like a double-edged sword you know it's it's you can let it feed you you can buy into the craziness, the chaos, the conspiracy theories, the trolling, the back and forth that goes on on social media. Or you can simply use it as a tool, like everything else. I use it to stay connected with people that I care about. You know, I, you know even though I'm not the biggest fan of video, I still do it. Because I like to see their faces, I like to see their smiles and their expressions and sort of gauge how they're doing. Sometimes it's the little things you do and it, and it reminds me of when I was at in in the se in seminary we had a a module called pastoral care and it talked about you know counseling people especially in times of distress and one particular area talked about you know a woman that had lost basically two of her sons and you know the pastor met her at the hospital when she went to identify the body or whatever. And he talked about doing as much or as little as he needed in order to provide comfort during that time. And he said, sometimes you sing a song. Sometimes it's a hymn. Sometimes you, it's a hug. Sometimes you hold hands. Sometimes it's a prayer. Sometimes it's a word of encouragement. But at other times, it's just simply your presence. Something as simple as you just being there in one way or the other. Maybe if that person can see your face, maybe if that person can hear your voice, it'll provide that little bit, that much needed connection. Because one thing that we can't get away from in this time is that human connection of saying, you know what, though, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm concerned about you. Man, I heard in your voice, so I got the, the sense in your email or your message or your text that something wasn't right. And I care enough to reach out to you and say, hey, brother, I'm here. Two words, I'm here, or I am here, but hyphenated. I am here for you. And I'm here for you. Remember to stay connected. Yeah, isolating, for me, I found it very beneficial in some ways. A lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-appraisal, a lot of self-renewal, reconnection with myself, finding out who I am as opposed to who I thought I was, as opposed to what the world tells me I am and what my ego has me believing I am and finding out exactly who I am. And that's been great. That's been wonderful. It's been very therapeutic. It's helped me grow, but also I've reconnected with a lot of people. And, and it's funny that separation causes us to reconnect seems like those two things won't go together but they do so i urge you now to stay connected video calls you have no excuse not to do it so i'm going to stay connected with you edwin alba with day in the flow morning videos inspirational videos and i just like to say as always i love you there's nothing you can do about it you have a wonderful day